Hey guys, Nim here. A few of you asked me on my last video if I had any advice for throwing and landing orbitals. As far as I know, there is no precise way to always be on target with those, and the best thing you can do is practice and develop an understanding of map layouts. The more you throw, the more you land, and in time you'll get accustomed to the distance required. Having said that, there are obstacles you can use to create lineups for certain generators and hooks, and having quite a few of these in my arsenal, I decided to make a small guide series for the maps in which I will cover locations that I consistently land orbitals from. In this video, I'll be covering Raccoon Police Department and Midwich. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. The first orbital I'll be demonstrating is one of the easiest on RBD, and it is for the inner short side of the generator that spawns in a corner of the roof by the set of stairs. To execute this shot, simply hug the bench shown on the right and throw it. For the shot at the long side of the generator, all you need to do is to be up against the loop ahead of you before throwing your hatchet. The next shot is a little complicated, but you can use the throw hatchet text to help you with your accuracy. To do this, simply align the center of the W with the left side of the light pole on the generator as shown. Now this next generator spawns by the lockers on the roof, and just as with the previous, all three sides can be hit with an orbital. Luckily, the first lineup works for both of the sides shown. All you need to do to set this up correctly is to position yourself in the center of the second bench, look straight down, and move back until the backrest is no longer visible on your screen. For the outer long side of the generator, you can stand in front of the feet of the corpse by the entrance. <laughs> Moving on to the hooks, the first lineup is for the hook that spawns next to the generator on the roof by the stairs. All you need to do for this shot is to step into the corner gap as shown. <gasps> this next shot is for the hook that spawns in between those two really annoying pallet loops. For this one, you need to squeeze into the corner gap by the bush. If you're unable to position yourself properly, you can just tap W until you've done so. The third and final hook on the roof spawns next to the generator by the lockers. Simply stand next to the feet of the corpse as shown. The last hook spawns by the fire escape and can be hit with an orbital on both variations of the map. 
You can set up the lineup for this hook in the exact same way as the generator that spawns by the lockers. Simply walk up to the padlock on the entrance, look down and walk back until you can no longer see the gate. And finally, to hit the exit gates, position yourself in line with the corpses as shown and throw. Moving on to Midwitch, this first set of orbitals are for the generator that spawns in the library opposite the clock tower. To hit the long side of this generator, simply walk into the corner to the side of the steps leading up into the clock tower entrance. You can use the W trick again to be more accurate with your shot. For the short side of this generator, repeat the same process but on the other side of the steps. The next generator spawns in the locker room next to the clock tower exit and can also be hit on both sides. For the long side of this generator, hug the wall next to the entrance as shown and throw. The short side can be hit from the corner opposite the clock tower. This one can be a little tricky, but you can use attacks again to help with accuracy. This next generator spawns opposite the library by the stairs next to the locker room. It can spawn in two variations, one with the short side facing the stairs and the other with the long side. I will only show how to hit the outer side as it is easiest to set up. For this shot, I use the strip on the wall as my lineup. One thing to note about this side of the generator is that it can be double tapped, and I will demonstrate that in the next clip. And lastly, we have the clock tower exit that can be hit from the opposite corner. Unfortunately, the shot isn't always possible as in some instances a hook spawns in the corner or the corner is entirely bugged out. The surrounding tiles also spawn inconsistently so I will show you what it looks like to hit the shot with two different tile spawns in case you find yourself confused. And just to wrap things up with these two maps, you can double tap the corner roof chen on RPD. There's also the exit gates on RPD West that can be double tapped, though this one might take you some time to pull off.
And finally, we have this hook on Midwich that spawns next to the locker room by the stairs. As a bonus, here are some orbitals you can hit on Larry's. I won't go into full detail with these just yet, as I'll be covering them in my next video along with another map. And that is the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope the information in this video helped you, and I look forward to hearing about your successful hits. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer. Till next time.